Let's spend a couple of minutes in this case to talk about the in crowd. In other words, the I-N crowd. In the prostate, the in crowd put the words or the letters I-N after prostate to stand for prostatic intraepithelial neoplasia. In the cervix, the in crowd created C-I-N. In the vagina, the in crowd created V-I-N for vaginal intraepithelial neoplasia. Well, what do you think the in crowd did to the vulva? You're right. They also added IN to it as well. So in the old days, we had the concept of a squamous mucosa. Uh, and in this case, it happens to be in the vulva, which matures from the base to the surface. But as it loses its maturation capabilities and secondarily develops some big, dark, nasty cells, which we would call progressive dysplasia, we now have a method to actually call this VIN for vaginal, in, I'm sorry, vulvar intraepithelial neoplasia. And you can grade it from one to three. One is the mildest. Three is the worst, and usually the higher ones, the worst ones, like number three, they would be, for all practical purposes, synonymous with the term carcinoma in situ. And I love this slide, and you will too, because we're going to take a little road trip now that we have talked about the in crowd and go from a uh, normal highway to uh, the highway to hell. Here's the normal highway. Notice the basal uh, layer is kind of a columnar oriented. Then in the middle uh, layer, there's more cuboidal in terms of the relationship between the axis of the width and the height. Then towards the surface, you have a flattened squamous type of mucosa. And it's from the most superficial portion that the uh, epithelium is named. So this is not stratified columnar, even those columnar cells at the base is stratified squamous because the epithelium, we name it from the epithelium on top. Notice as we go down the highway, we got a nice sunny day here. But as we go down, uh, it looks like we got some a little bit of a bumpy road here. It doesn't quite mature as well. And the nuclei are a little bit darker and bigger and lumpier and bumpier. In addition, we have a mitotic figure here and probably here and definitely here. So we are already starting to see some features making us think this is getting more just plastic or perhaps progressing towards downright cancer. And in the very earliest stages, you might call it one, but I think we're already getting into something here that I would call more than one, maybe a two. And if you wanted to take this highway all the way to hell and get down into the really dirty areas like this, um, oh, I could see something worse. It just looks bluer a little bit more uh, east of us. So let's go to this area here and uh, take a look. There's really not much of a maturation at all. I know there's some, but look at these cells. They are nasty. There's an abnormal mitosis. They are big. They are dark. There's another mitosis. There's another mitosis. There's a nucleus from hell. Uh, and there's a nucleus. There's, you know, the worst one we've seen. If this was the only field you saw, you'd probably call it carcinoma in situ. But because we can see some maturation still towards the surface, if you just wanted to call this high-grade uh, VIN, go right ahead, because I think that's probably the best classification for it. If you'd rather call it severe dysplasia, you go right ahead as well, because that's exactly what it is in more descriptive, honest language. Thank you very much.